hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Hey, ain't no deadline on revenge. Bitch, I'm a beater. Yo, the last man stand. Hey, we can go body for body. Yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Tell your sisters, your cousins, your brothers, everybody. What up, what up, man? Salute to all of y'all. If you like the way we on, you can subscribe to our Patreon. I do drop content there. Something that's different than battle rap. I'll talk about some sports shit in there. I'll be talking about battles that I think is going to happen. That might happen. Rumors, hyperbole. I curse in there more than here. I'd be like, what the f You know what I mean? Um, I will drop the link if you choose to support us in that way. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. And there's so much going on in battle rap. And I'ma just start with there's a couple cards going on. If you haven't heard or if you don't know, uh, GTX has a card, uh, Battle of the Bay X, where they got a uh, T-Rex versus Big K, Easy to Block Captain versus Disaster, uh, Marv One is on the card, Hollow the Dawn versus Thesaurus, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of other battles on that card. Shout out to GTX, we'll support GTX. The Trenches is coming back. Uh, they just announced Mike P versus Rosenberg Raw yesterday. They also got Hollow Man versus Head Ice on there, and um, Reed Dollars versus UMP. You got Tay Rock's card coming up uh, no, with the No Entourage joint. Uh, I think it's August 5th. He's got himself versus Real Deal, uh, Lady Caution versus Shay Rack. I did see the back and forth between Rock and Dot yesterday. I'll just address it right quick because, you know, people be wanting me to talk about this. Now, I ain't trying to make no messy block. I text Rock if I had Dot's number, I would do the same and let them know that, yo, y'all got event, y'all got battles to promote. Y'all girls is battling, you know what I'm saying, all of this extra energy. I understand promoting an event, but at the end of the day, you know, we all brothers at the end of the day. We don't have to like each other. We don't have to agree with each other. We don't have to rock with each other. But at the end of the day, where y'all talking about this one's going to do this to this person, that's going to do that. The nerve of you. <laughs> you that's know, like disrespect. That's when I see you this, 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 you're not an event to promote. You know what I mean? Like, what type of energy? If somebody, if a, if a consumer or a fan or somebody's thinking about going to an event, why would they be like, yo, I'm, I'm head, head over heels and head first into attending an event where somebody's like, I'm going to do this when I see you, I'm going to do that when I see you. Y'all, come on, man. Like, like, what are we doing? Is it 2023 or 2015? Y'all could ignore each other. People talk shit every day online, and I never, in all of these years, I don't go back and forth with nobody. I'm not about to argue with you. I'm not about to fight with you online. If you see me and something goes down like that, that's another story. But online is never the place. And shout out to all of y'all, and I hope... That that event goes well, but come on, dog. You got Jack Boy Main versus Top Floor Loot on there. You got yourself on the card, uh, Tay Rock. Uh, you got JC on the card, Cortez on the card, Emerson Kennedy on the card. This ain't no Taco Bell Tony League back of the building battle league shit. Y'all niggas is doing big things, man. Just think, you know what I'm saying? Don't trick yourself out the game, especially when y'all both got careers and y'all both got shit going on. I just don't feel like it's worth it at the end of the day. I'm not beefing with none of these niggas online. I will not do it. I refuse to do it. I don't care what you say about me. You know what I'm saying? I just leave it alone because at the end of the day, I know when I see niggas, the only thing they take from me is advice. So I don't be getting into all of that shit. I will hope a lot happens for y'all. I got a lot of respect and admiration and I hope that shit goes well. So let's move on. Uh, DNA. DNA, DNA, DNA. Shout out to DNA and everything that he's got going on. Get money and drink water. He's been doing this for a while. He did make a statement yesterday, and I'm gonna talk about the Hollow to Don and Twerk in my next iteration after I talk about this. So he made a statement yesterday where he's basically saying that, you know, combating the narratives, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of narratives that, that go on in battle rap, and people talk their thing and say their shit. DNA feels like I hate him. I don't hate him. I really don't got nothing against him, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, he feels like I'm a hater. I think he said, uh, I think when it came to him and Jerry West like last year or a year or so ago, I said something, he called me a hater. And then when uh, Charlie Clips was on his podcast, I said, yo, this will be the greatest show ever because, you know, Charlie Clips got a bright personality and, you know, he jumps into different characters and shit like that. And I said, yo, I thought if Charlie Clips could even come on there every now and then, it could take out the podcast to the next level. What do you know, DNA? I'm a hater again. So Fever, please, get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm so... Don't say nothing about it. If he battles it is good, I give him props and I keep it moving. But there's a lot of stars that can't take criticism, whether positive or negative. So when you see people like that, you be like, man, fuck it, man. You do what you do, I'm good. I, I don't, 
I don't want to give props. I don't want to say anything that's going to make you feel like I'm a hater. Me saying this may make him feel like I'm a hater. But I'm going to say this, man. So he says, when you don't correct a lie, after a while people start thinking it's the truth. Tell me one lie I said here. I'll wait to PSA to the battle rap culture. Summer Man is coming soon, August 27th. Get your tickets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Sad that people now believe it's the truth and it's not the truth. Like, oh, DNA is boring. How? When I shake a building more than almost everybody you can think of everywhere I go. Oh, battling DNA does nothing. Like, you forget Vixen didn't turn into a fucking, I mean, Twister owes me a check. An overnight celebrity after battling. So it's like, the internet, the people believe the internet, that shit is not real. Like, all that shit y'all saying does not really happen when I'm really there. DNA versus Casey, battle of the night. I literally have perform, could argue performance of the night, round of the night, DNA and John John, no impact, body of the night, best chemistry with a two and two. Where, where's the shit y'all talking about? It? Where's it really happening? At? I'm saying I have the highest win percentage in battle rap. Where's this happening? At? I don't really lose like that. That's why when I lose, it's a big deal. When Vixen did what she did, it's in an uproar. But then you're having like, oh man, DNA, da da da. It just became the cool thing to say because can't say nothing else. Mm. So how could you how could you weaponize somebody that doesn't really lose like that? Okay, yo man, DNA is great. It's just something. What is this song? What's the song? Me and Charlie Clips, we, we just on a Street Fighter 6 soundtrack. Song just got placed in um the praise this movie work. Other songs just got placed in Kevin Durant show swagger. So where's this something that y'all see in the comments that people outside of battle rap, why they not seeing it? They don't see none of this. All they just see is talent, and then I see money. <laughs> so he makes a statement, and he says, yo, you know, he has one of the best winning percentages. He doesn't lose. He has big moments on stages. And he's just naming down his resume as to why, you know, people are, you know, making up narratives or lies about him. But I'll say this, right? In battle rap, winning doesn't mean everything. We seen niggas who don't win make it to the top of battle rap. It'd be about excitement. It'd be about... Can you sell a fight? It'd be about can you sell pay-per-views? Will people cop an event and fly to a different city just to see you? That's the question. If that's the truth, if you feel that's true, I'm not saying you can't. Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. I'm not. First of all, please, let's repeat after me. I don't hate DNA. I got nothing against this nigga. But I have to call it like I call it. Who would I be and I say what I see? If you feel like... You're the one that they'll come to a city for, whose merch they'll cop, who's moving the needle, then cool. You where you at? You at where you at? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have no, no dog in the fight. I seen you on, on Summer Madness versus Jerry West. I wanted to see you versus him two years ago. So I have no issue with it. You diced and chopped them niggas up, you and John John in that two-on-two. -two. I knew you was going to kick solar foot ass. I knew that. I already knew y'all was going. So it doesn't even, like, I, I have no qualm in that. But, you know, when it comes to a lot of the top-tier MCs, a lot of them that are where you at, legendary status. Legends be getting chased by legends. I don't see the legends chasing him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see Loaded Lux like, yo, I'm outside, where he's at, let's get it over with. Put to it. I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the position, it gotta, it gotta get done. I'm gonna represent. You know that. Awesome. I'm gonna be, I, I'm not, you, you, like, you, I wasn't looking forward to it. I'm gonna be honest, like, you know, I told you, okay. you, you bore me. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, you know, you do. It is what it is. You you bore me, but like, in in the in the the how you say the essence of the sport when a nigga talking as much as you keep talking, you that's the shit so, that get me riled so, up. So, 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 so let me ask you this question. All right? been built like that, like for me to like. So I gotta me, feel like it. So no, hold on, let me hold on. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead. that's right. Yeah, let me let me get my. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut you. Cause, 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 Cause when you when you get your spill off, I ain't gonna. You hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm right. just saying that's why they. I'm saying it's you are also on your because they gotta make that ticket right. That shit gotta that, that that gotta be exciting. That's what's gonna be exciting. As far as what I'm gonna do with you, that's they gonna know. You gonna know. You gonna do DNA and do with that DNA shit you do and they gonna make this thing right. You'll see. Uh, yeah. I don't see the murder moves. I'm outside. I need this battle. You know, I don't see that. I'm just saying, I don't see it. If it happens somewhere else, then it does. But I'm just telling you what the talk will be. The legends chase the legends. You see it happening all the time. Like Murder Mook went back and battled Reed, and he went back and battled, uh, uh, he battled Reed, he battled Geechee. He's, he'll go around and do these battles. But when it comes to him, it's like, I don't see Loaded Luck. Like, Loaded Luck be like, man, I don't, even, I don't even hear him saying he's gonna do that battle. He might refer to you every now and then in a little punchline or two, 
but at the end of the day, I don't see him doing it. And then, DNA is one of the most viewed battle rappers ever. He's got some of the most battles ever. When you've battled more than everyone, he's damn near battled with everyone. Who hasn't he battled yet? You know what I'm saying? But does he lose? No, he don't lose often. He definitely doesn't lose often. He wins in that high rate, but sometimes the wins just fly over your head. Like the battle versus Real Sick, you had like 40 minute rounds. The battle with Mickey Fax, you might, I, you probably won. I don't know. <laughs> you probably won. He probably, I think he won. Oh, let's just say he won. Fuck it, for the sake of it, you won. But it wasn't memorable. Like it didn't, it didn't have staying power. Like a nigga like Surf will battle that shit will last. Niggas will be watching Surf and Hitman six years from now. Niggas will be watching uh, Surf and Rock. Niggas will pull them shits up, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I feel like this, you know what I'm saying? DNA is a legend. You know, does he get the super ultimate props and respect that let No, he doesn't. Let's just be honest. He does not get it. Why? I don't know. Maybe y'all could jump in the comments and let me know why don't y'all why does he even have to make a statement like this? You know what I'm saying? Why are people making up lies and creating quote unquote narratives against him? You know what I'm saying? I do feel like, and I feel like he should get the names that he wants. He's been doing this for a while. You know what I'm saying? He's got his own YouTube channel. He gets guests on there. He does breakfast, you know what I'm saying? The champagne joint. He has a lot of face-offs on there. And I feel like he's very important for battle rap. I do. I can say that without hating on you. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, some of these guys just can't take criticism. If you say anything that does not feed into what they got going on, you're automatically a hater. That's why I don't even refer to him anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope everything goes well with him. I watch his battles. I hope he does well. But, you know, I don't have no qualms against him, you know what I'm saying? If that, if I got a, if I got an hour to go to work and I'm gonna watch a battle before I go to work, am I gonna put his battle on? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Probably not, I'm just gonna be honest with you. And, uh, and another thing is the, is the wrestling podcast. Salute to the wrestling podcast and everything that you do. There's a lot of app fans who just wasn't with it, who just don't, they didn't cop a battle rap app to watch wrestling on. You can't be mad that niggas did not cop that. I cannot go to a Mexican restaurant and be mad, and they can't be mad that I don't want to eat pizza. It is what it is. Like, I did not come to a Mexican restaurant to eat pizza. I did not go to a Chinese restaurant to have soul food. If I go somewhere and I purchase something because I want that, there's no hate in that. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, you can't be mad at that. But, at the end of the day, I'm gonna say this. Salute to DNA. He's battling Jerry West real soon, and I got DNA winning, especially in front of a big crowd. I have him winning versus Jerry West. Yes, Vada the Hater has him winning, right? And if he wins and I recap it, and I put it out, he's not even gonna retweet it. So that's why I don't even, like some of these battle rappers, you can say whatever you want, you can put their, re they won't even retweet them. They won't, they don't care. You know, recap to do 50,000 views, niggas won't even care. Now, you're not, they, they don't have to do it. They don't have to. But at the end of the day, we don't have to recap it either. So sometimes battlers, and uh, so shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just telling you that there's more size to the spectrum. I respect what you do, you know what I'm saying? And I hope that you do well versus Jerry West and keep it pumping, you know what I'm saying? Don't clip this up. I don't want these clipping this up and taking one little clip, then putting it out there like, oh, he's hating, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do shit, put the whole clip out there. You know what I'm saying? He has his stance on how he feels. He's a top tier MC, a legend, but he feels like people is, uh, is, is not really fucking what he got going on, for whatever reason. I don't know the reason, it is what it is, but shout out to DNA. Um, moving on, Hollow to Don versus New Jersey Twerk is going down really soon. Um, I think this is sneaky, sneaky, sneaky battle of the night potential. The reason why? Fans should more focus on the art, not, not about what happens before the art. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on the art. Like who's really giving you something to sit with and be like, you know what I mean? Like, I understand get it going, but don't make getting it going more important than the art. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a fact. Like, that's a fact. I don't give a fuck how good a nigga talk, how crazy you gonna be up there. Talk all that shit, but let that shit talk and match what you gonna do with the art. Another thing about DNA, he one of the only niggas to clearly beat Howard Don recently. He beat this. Yo, stop playing with Eric, yo. He beat the fuck out of, D out of Hollow the Dawn. Hollow, you my nigga, but DNA beat the fuck out of you. We not even gonna do that. And DNA beat up a lot of other niggas. He put them niggas in a box, the two on two. He sent them niggas up the road, and he beats up a lot of other niggas. He don't lose very often, so I'm not hating. Hey, let's just get this shit going. So Hollow, uh, he says, uh, he's been talking, you know what I'm saying? He said, uh, the next two weeks I'll be running down highlights. A lot of people don't watch full battles no more, so they fall for the narrative your ops put out. Told Lux to spit the majority of the material because I was coming off a math battle. People had small distaste for me. 
know what I'm saying? That was the, the energy, the energy sold separately. Closed weapon, beat. that was that joint. You know what I'm saying? The Wolf in the Gray like Liam Neeson. That was that joint. Um, the two on two. Loaded Lux. Um, Loaded Hollows versus Guns and Cake. The, 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 the change, the change, the, you know, the fucking shit they did. Fucking the, the shell casing. That was a very good battle too, by the way. Um, Hollow Dunn has New Jersey Twerk coming up. New Jersey Twerk's been having a pretty good year so far. Bounce back here. Uh, he's had a bunch of battles where no no chokes. No, he's been, that, that, that's big. Ho, hey, 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 Twerk. Ho, ho, ho. Don't act like I don't fucking know. I've been around this shit for a while. Ho, 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 ho. Trinidad. I do my thing around the ring. Uh, um, he's been here for a while. Um, but he's been having pretty much of a bounce back year. No slips, no chokes, no stumbles. But the level of competition has to start ratcheting up because some of the battles that he's having is against competition that he probably should beat. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be honest with you. He should be beating this guy. He should not be having gunfights with some of the names that he's had. Now he's battling against Hollow the Don, who's a pretty big name, and Hollow the Don does beat people, and he does beat them on big stages. Um, I think uh, in Houston, an exclusive New Jersey twerk I'm talking about, Tay Rock version and other versions, could definitely get with Hollow and dance. Hollow is nice though, you know what I'm saying? Like Hollow has sneaky, tricky ways to use different bars and similar. You know what I'm saying? What, you, <laughs> this was this was this was not by accident. But lo, lo, loyal to my love, you know I got on lm.clothing.com. But um, he does have a chance to really, really, really help secure Battle of the Night because him and um, Ill Will over there on RVE. It's still to me battle of the year. What battle has that happened this year is better than Ill Will versus Hollow the Dawn. I'll wait. I'll wait. If it's not the two, it's the one. If it's not the one, it's the two. What the fuck y'all want to do? I'm sorry, you can't take that away from him. Ill Will versus Hollow the Dawn lyrically, and I was standing right there, like behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like I be going, I be going to the events and shit. I be trying to like do my own thing. Like I chill. I watch it from behind. Cause I be on my phone and shit. You know my timeline. I be seeing shit that's going on. And when you're in the footage, you like this and shit. It looks like you're disinterested in the battle. So <laughs> I've been at events before. Niggas be like, "Yo, fuck, put your phone down, nigga." So I'm like, "Oh man, I'd rather stand behind the fucking camera. I can take so lot more to watch." But it was an amazing battle. It was a very, 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 very good version of Hollow. You know what I'm saying? And now you got Twerk, who's gonna be in his bag. His two on two that he just had with uh, Rub Nitty and. Uh, what the fuck, Rum Nitty and, and him and Rum Nitty, yeah, that shit, the B's and C's, because, by, cause, by, because, B's and C, B, B, B's and C's, the B's and B's, what, what the fuck, what, what's up niggas talking about, B, C, B, C, I got you B, C, but you can B, C, and B, cause, B, cause, it was badges on cops who bought it, the, them niggas was going crazy, that has potential, I'm telling you right now, if you look at the Summer Madness car as a whole and its totality, you know what I mean, I know there's niggas out there saying oh, it's mid madness and whoop de -whoop. I'm not oblivious. Trust me, I ain't. But I always said we ain't never that mad. So I can't knock the profit if I'm gonna watch it. If I wasn't gonna watch it, I'd be like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't watching it anyway. But I lie to you if I say I wasn't, because I am, you know what I'm saying? Do I have the URL app? No, I do not currently have that. The reason why I don't feel like I miss anything. When I feel like I'm missing something, or you make me go get it, I'll go get it. But for the past couple months, I haven't had it, and I don't feel like I've missed anything. Nobody else is recapping them. Ain't nobody else recapping them. I left it alone. I'm going to give you niggas the spot. I said, take it. Y'all can have it. And it, I don't see no recap. Niggas, niggas still ain't recap them. So I don't feel like I miss anything. I recap the battles when they happen. If it happens on the caffeine stream, because all the app's content is going to be is shit that happened on the caffeine and podcast. That's it. <laughs> what am I missing? I'm not missing anything. I can catch it all live. I don't have to watch it again. I can watch it once, boom. And then there's the, if I really want to see them, all I got to do is put a word out. They're going to come. They're going to come. I'm just saying it's me, it's me, it's me. I don't, it'll, we ain't never that mad. Um, so to see Hollow back in position as damn near one of the headliners of a card, I think it's amazing. Um, I think that this battle is going to be one of the battles of the night. I kind of got a 2-1 right now. I'm leaning both ways. One day I feel like I was going to win. One day I feel like Twerk is going to win. Very difficult decision. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest. This is one that I have to see. I want to see this. I want to see this happen and see what Hollow could do to minimize Twerk's energy. Because Twerk's energy is what really controls battles. Him and Chef Tres wasn't a bad battle, but Twerk's energy is just 10 levels above a more monotone flow. 
you know, the pipe ripping, the light ripping, the light sniffing, the hit him with the light sniffing, the back to the light switch, to hit the light switch, the bike fit, the bike fit, to cut his shit off, I light switch him. Yeah, I get it, those are fire, you know what I'm saying? But we got a nigga that's the dolly gonna raise, booming on stage, I'm on the bit like, whoa, <laughs> she get a little, a little crazy, I'm just saying, she get a little crazy. Um, but. Uh, shout out to everybody out there that watched this content religious religious in the past. And I just watched a uh, scene that uh, Jalen Brown signed a three hundred and five million dollar deal. I didn't think that he would get that kind of money. You know what I'm saying? I think Jalen Brown's a really good player. Do I think he's like give the ball to him franchise type guy? No. But I feel like he's a very good second complimentary piece to a team. I wouldn't pay him two hundred three hundred five million. No. I'm just, that's a lot of fucking money. But they can do what they do. Um, but also, you know, keep in mind, a lot of cards is going on. A lot of events is going to be happening. I'm going to try to watch as many as I can, but I cannot guarantee. You know what I'm saying? Niggas want, they want it every weekend. Some it's like these niggas want every weekend of the summer. There's another, there, <laughs> there's another announcement dropping this week. Uh, it's a pretty big one. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it there. There is another announcement dropping this week. And it's a pretty significant uh, announcement, you know what I'm saying? I will say it, it's on Max Out. There's a pretty big Max Out announcement that's going to drop this week. It's going to change a lot of the trajectory of the perspectives that people are looking at these two individual cards. I said it earlier in the week, and I'm going to say it again. The event, the battle that they will drop announcement this week, I think like Thursday, Friday, one or two, Thursday, all right, I'll say Thursday. That battle could have headlined both of either one of these cards that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna say that, you know what I'm saying? So, when you see that, don't lie, don't act like Vada ain't tell you, because I did tell you. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or past. And I think Hollow the Dawn versus Twerk could be one of the battles of the summer. Um, I like DNA and Jerry West, though. I really do, man. I wanna end talking about Jerry West. I feel like Jerry West earned his way and earned his spot to get where he's at, because he came in like, Years and years ago, Jerry West came with Av and Emerson Kennedy. Emerson Kennedy and Jerry West battled in a PG the same night. I was actually there. Jerry West pulled up in a Bentley. Emerson Kennedy had the fucking Reggie Miller to choke at the garden line and shit. I remember all that. That's the night Av battled Mike P. Uh, that was like 2015, 16. Might might have been the end of six. Might have been 16. I think it was 16. Almost 10 years ago though. But um, they did their thing. You know what I'm saying? Now Jerry West is, is is earning a spot on Summer Madness, and I feel like he belongs there. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that he does very well. But DNA, man, DNA be beating the shit out of people. I ain't gonna hold you. DNA can thoroughly embarrass you, period. I don't care what nobody says. You can say whatever the fuck you want about anything else, but let's not remove the fact that DNA can erase half a fucking battle rap. He's ducked a lot, too. He gets ducked a lot because he can beat you. And battlers be feeling, like, oh, I don't got nothing to gain by battling him, but he can fuck you up. <laughs> That's the thing. If I was a battler, I wouldn't. I would not battle the end. Ain't no motherfucking way. Hell no. That nigga's too nice. Like his flows is crazy. Did you hear when that two on two? He be going wow. So shout out to him. Uh, I did see his video. You know what I'm saying? But I did have to like interject with a little of the reasons why people say the things that they say. But at the end of the day, you can't invalidate his resume. You can't invalidate what he's done, and you can't take away, take away anything away from him. You know what I'm saying? They'll still find some way to say I'm a hater out of all of this, but, you know, it isn't fair and I really don't care. Gang.